Hello there, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the event so far. I must say I'm missing being present at the physical event itself this year, but I'm sure we'll make up for it next year. In the meantime, as you can see, I'm in standard Zoom spare bedroom working mode where I've made an effort on my top half, but I'm still in my pyjamas in the bit that you can't see. The pandemic hasn't prevented the Confucius Institute at Harriet Watt University in celebrating Chinese New Year around Edinburgh. And our support uh, this year with Edinburgh's Tourism Action Group has made another powerful set of events to maintain Edinburgh's high profile amongst Chinese visitors and tourists and the home community in Edinburgh. You can check out the digital programme that's been created this year. We've spread a range of virtual events over a longer period and we've included a hyperlink in today's event brochure with all the details. I hope you'll be able to join us to celebrate Chinese New Year at some of those events. Now, onto the award. Entrepreneurship is at the heart of what we do at Harriet Watt University, and having recently published our recovery prospectus to support industry development, it's been really inspiring to read about the three finalists this year. Our first finalist is James Buchan from Zudu. He's grown his Dundee-based digital marketing agency to 12 members of staff in the past year. China's been a key focus for the company and a series of innovative initiatives have helped support this growth through their Nihao Scotland WeChat platform and the first Nihao Digital Whiskey Festival. Jamie McGowan, our second finalist, is founder of Essence of Harris, and he's had to ramp up production on the Isle of Harris in order to meet the size of orders they've had from China, making their first sales there last year. Jamie remains committed to the opportunity of e-commerce sales through some of China's biggest platforms, all from his team's stunning location in the Outer Hebrides. Our final uh, F uh, finalist this year is Florin Mandash, co-founder of Time to Dine, whose partnership with a leading Chinese tech manufacturer has helped to develop a high quality restaurant tech product, and they've been picking up increasing numbers of clients in recent years. They've had to pivot to takeaways during the pandemic, but have done so with great versatility and openness to adopting the best of tech from both countries. And I have an envelope. And the winner of the China Scotland Business Awards Entrepreneur of the Year 2021 is James Buchan from Zudu. Congratulations, James. I hope you have a good rest of the evening celebrating and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Good evening, everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful time at the famous Chinese Brown Supper. It's disappointing that we can't all meet in person this year, but I'm sure the event will go from strength to strength next year. I'm deeply honoured to be receiving this award today. This has been an extraordinary year, and the team at Zudu have been riding the wave against a strong current. In the face of the pandemic, we've been proud to always be at the forefront of digital innovation going above and beyond for our clients. We've continued to grow our Nihau Scotland platform to become the go-to influencer site for Scottish businesses. And we've supported industries such as tourism, whiskey and education and developed both marketing and distribution capabilities to support companies entering into the Chinese market. Of course, I couldn't win this award without the support of my amazing team, my board of directors and David Ballantyne, MBE, who has supported us so much on our journey in China. I'd also like to offer a special thank you to my wonderful fiance, Xiao Xiao. As we now enter into the year of the ox, this denotes that hard work, positivity, and honesty will be manifested in all of us in the coming 12 months. We will continue to be innovative and vigilant to opportunities. And as Rabbi Burns once said, there's no such uncertainty as a sure thing.